So let's look at two cases that kind of um, highlight these points that we just talked about. This is a patient one, male, 68, BMI is 31, smoked 32 pack years, stopped smoking 10 years ago, gold grade three, and MRC three levels of uh, airflow obstruction and dyspnea. Patient is severely obstructed, air trapped, hyperinflated, six minute walk is 320, mildly hypercapnic, mildly hypoxemic, diffusion capacity is 30% of predicted. This is the Stratix report overall. You can see the patient has the most severe degree of emphysema in both the right and left lower lobes. The patient has complete fissures or near complete fissures in the right major, right minor fissure. The patient's left fissure is only 76% complete. That's below our 80% threshold. We would not assess this left lung for Zephyr valve placement, but on the right side, we would assess the right lower lobe, as you can see, for collateral ventilation, and we'd expect it most likely to be CV negative. And you can see this patient also has a fair degree of heterogeneity, 69% uh, in the diseased and target lobe, compared to 59% in the non-targeted lobes, so it meets the threshold of 10% as identified in the transform study. This is our chartist assessment of the right lower lobe. You see decelerating flow that's consistent with a CV negative lobe, confirming that that right major fissure um, does not have airflow across it. So the best target in this patient is the right lower lobe. You see this lobe was picked on CV negative status, degree of emphysema is destruction, and the lobe of highest degree. The important points always go to the side, the CV negative, fissure integrity helped us on this side. Pick the side for Zephyr treatment by Chartist assessment, and also the degree of heterogeneity was favorable in this patient's case. This is looking at the coronal CT image before and after treatment. You can see that the right middle lobe was small, the right lower lobe was hyperinflated, and after treatment, the right lower lobe is almost 100% collapsed with the Zephyr valve emplacement, and you recruited the right middle lobe and expanded it, as seen here, with right upper lobe further expansion, more curved diaphragm, and decrease in volume in the right chest. Let's look at the second case, 75 year old female, BMI is 18, pack years 40, pack years of smoking, stopped smoking 10 years ago, one hospitalization for exacerbation last year, gold grade four, very severely obstructed, uh, hyperinflated, air trapped, six minute walk test 213 meters, PACO2 is 37, PCO2, uh, PAO2 is 67. This is the Axial CT scan shows emphysema in the right and the left lungs, fairly severe. And as you can see, the Stratix report tells us by the QCT, homogeneous emphysema mid 60s or higher throughout. You can see that the left major fissure is about 91% complete. The right um, major fissure is 86% complete uh, overall. But we would look at Chartist assessment, but we'd also look at our perfusion scan. Our perfusion scan shows here that the uh, right lower lobe and the left lower lobes are most oligemic. But if we further look at this, the left lower lobe has the greatest amount of dead space. You can see it's 19% perfused, 35% volume. But if we look on the right side, greater perfusion than there is volume on the right. So the left side would be the highest target for dead space overall. This is our chartist assessment. You can see that the right side, both the right upper lobe right lower lobe are both CV positive. We would not treat anywhere on the right side. The left side, our target that we looked at for Stratix, perfusion scan targeted the left lower lobe. You can see that the left side, it's CV negative. So we'd be permitted to treat the right, the left lower lobe. So here, this patient, the left lower lobe was treated because there was emphysematous destruction. It was homogeneous, but it was the most oligemic and had the most volume and or dead space. So an important point in the second case was perfusion scans are very important in low bar uh, selection, especially in patients with homogeneous uh, emphysema.